Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing out some clear polishes for doing that negative space water marble. I started off with IMK Peel Ease and here is OPI. Check out the old geysers. It's an oldie but a goodie. Not super old but you know a little older. Not new. So I'm going to go in with my first coat of this. Now this was requested by my friend Emmy on from F Pretty Things Rock. I will link her channel down below. She was asking me, you know, what, what, you know, the differences was. A lot of the indie polishes do have a clear polish for water marbling like this. I have two that I'll be playing with today, and then three OPI clears just to see what kind of a difference we can, you know, get with them. And they were different. So I am going to go on in with the second coat of this and. I could have gotten away with one since I'm water marbling, but I decided since it's going to have that clear, I would go ahead and do that second coat. I'm going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. I'm going to seal it all in. That's just a beautiful polish. I remember when it came out, there was such a hype about it. Of course, you know, if they hype it, I've got to have it. Junky. Yes, I am. I am capping those free edges. And I'm going to have a swatch photo here of check out the old geysers I'll be using pipe dream polish this is clear water um, dainty digits clearly marvelous and then OPI top coat with the black cap OPI natural nail base coat and the OPI top coat with the silver cap so I'm gonna be doing a combination of tape and latex today so I don't stick my fingers together. Every time I play with latex, I get stuck together. So I'm just mushing it around the tip there. And then I'm going to use the IMK Peel Protect just up here on the top. Kind of saves on the latex and your fingers don't stick together. It just seems like a cost-effective good thing to do. Here is OPI Turn On The Northern Lights. I'll be using that along with these clear polishes. I'm going to start with the pipe dream one. So I'm going to start off with one drop of the turn on the northern lights. Running that toothpick around my cup to get it to spread. Kind of bouncing things around. And this polish, this clear, was made for this. So I, I knew it would work really well. I've used it many, many times before. I do not believe that pipe green polishes, still selling polishes, um, as well as Dainty Digits is now called Baby Girl Lacquer. And uh, there should be a link down below in the description box for the, for the Baby Girl Lacquer one. Um, but I know a lot of the indies carry, carry polishes like this. So, you know, you might just want to check with them. When you place in an order and see if they have something if you're interested. Um, I know that when I first got started doing water marbles with the clear, I would I used one, it was a Sally Hansen, like the salon brand, kind of in the square bottle, and there was one called Cleared for Takeoff. And that was the first one I ever had success with. So if you can find that one at the drugstore, that might be a really good option for you as well. I did not try everything. Uh, you know, I've got lots of more clears that could be tested. And look how perfect, gorgeous. So I'm going to go in with my tweezers and I'm going to pull up this tape and latex. And look, hardly no mess to clean up. Got to love it. So there's a swatch photo of how that one turned out. Next, I'll be using the Clearly Marvelous by Dainty Digits slash Baby Girl Lacquer. And we're going to go in and do a round with them. And of course, this one also was made for this, so you would expect it to perform well. Um, but I think a lot of the, the brands, like I think Godlene has one from like maybe Parrot Polish. And I've seen, you know, like Sassy Sauce. And I mean, just like I said, just go check it out. Just go check them out. 
I love water marbling, and I think it's really cool. Like, if you want to have a bling-tastic base, you know, glitters do not water marble well, like big, chunky glitters. If you want to do that as your base color, and then do a water marble over the top of it with the clear to let that base color peek through, it's just really fun. Kind of makes it jazzy. So I'm just doing this like a typical water marble. I've got a, you know, my cup is just room temperature, regular, normal water, nothing special. Um, I, you know, try to work fairly quickly. I'm not the fastest, but when I try to get fast, I make mistakes. So I, I do like polishes that'll give me the time to play around with it. And that one did really well, very nice. And now we're going to use the black cap top coat from OPI. And we're just going to build our bullseye just like we had before. Making that polish spread all the way to the edge. And here we go. So it does spread really nice. It makes a really good ring. It's do, This one's doing really nice. But you can see, watch when I do it. It kind of goes out. And when I add the clear... It's going to push out fast, and then it kind of draws back in a, again a little bit. It's kind of strange. And you can see that the line is distorting. The rings aren't like ring rings. They're kind of jagged looking. And that one right there in the clear, you can see some busted up particles. Now, I don't think that this is a bad thing. I think it would make it look really cool on the nail. So we're going to go ahead and do this one on a nail so you can see what that looks like. But I would recommend just, you know, test your polishes. See what you have in your collection, um, what clears would work. I do not recommend anything that's a fast dry or quick dry, uh, something that's just a regular top coat or a regular clear. Give it a go. It doesn't hurt to try it for sure. So I'm going in and getting all that excess up, as I typically typically do. And that one did pretty well, too. So there's a swatch photo of that one. I like it. And next I'm going to be using the Natural Base Coat from OPI. I didn't know how well this one would do, so we're going to give it a shot. And look, it busts out through that ring like fast. And now it's not wanting to go anywhere. So I'm kind of jiggling the cup. I'm going to go in and add another drop. And look, boom. But it's making the blue lines really tiny. And the next one doesn't seem to want to spread. So you're going to have to do a little shaking with this one. And here we go. And that one just busted. Made it like a half moon circle. But we're going to continue on. This one's going to go on my ring finger. So I'm going to let it be a little more abstract. Not too worried about it matching the other ones. But I wouldn't recommend this one for water marbling, really. And I was going to just pull it up, and I thought, eh, let's see. Let's see if we can get something out of this. Just some abstract craziness. And if that's what you like, this would work just fine. <laughs> but if you're wanting to go for a more uniform water marble, I would recommend using one of the other products shown today. Um, this one was not very cohesive, but it looks pretty good on the nail. So there we go with that one, the natural nail base coat. And now for the silver cap OPI top coat, we're going to do just like we did with the other ones, giving it a fair shake in this game. And it starts off looking pretty good. It's spreading really nice. And then that next drop spread really well. It's looking promising. But it's doing like the other OPI one, the first one, the black cap. And it is kind of busting it out. And you're getting a little bit of stringiness in there. And the circles aren't busting out smooth. They're kind of crazy looking. But, again it still would add a very interesting look to it, I think. I mean, if I didn't have anything else, I would definitely use this and just be happy that I have it. I think it 
just looks neat. Isn't that wild? Look, that was crazy looking. And look, it's still busting. That's just wild. But I do like it. I think it's kind of groovy. But it does not look like any of the other ones. <laughs> I'm going to dip that little nail down in there and clean up this excess. So I would like to thank Emmy for asking me to do this. And I hope that it was helpful. And we might revisit this again with some other clear polishes. So there is the swatch photo of that one. I'm going to go in and do a tiny bit of cleanup here. And even though this was kind of like an experimental um, video, you know, I am going to wear this as a manicure. They're different, but with water marbling, they're always going to be different. Got to get up under that nail because I always get it under there. Pretty good. So we're going to top it with Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. Seal it in, dry it down, and call it finished. So there you have it. I do have a swatch photo coming up here very soon. And I would love to hear what you think about this manicure. Hi, Woody. How you doing? There he is, y'all. So leave me a comment. I want to thank you for watching. And as always, until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.